So this concealer promises to completely erase these dark circles. Y'all know I love color correcting, so we are going to see, but we are going to see. I'm about to give it a chance, about to give it a shot. Hey guys, welcome to my video. It's Cami J official, so let's start the show. My name is Cami. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right to the video. All right, y'all, so you guys can see these dark circles here and this hyperpigmentation are nothing to play with. So this concealer promises to completely erase these dark circles. So this concealer is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So this concealer comes in 17 shades and I purchased mine um, in store at Ulta Beauty. So these are the colors that I decided to go with to try these on my dark circles. So I got deep golden and then I also got this color which is the color sand. So this concealer does retail for $12. So I already like that. It's nice and affordable. It is vegan. It has clean ingredients. It says that it is cruelty free. It says that it gives you 24 hour hydration, erases dark circles. It gives you coverage and it can cover redness and irritation. So these are some bold claims for a $12 drugstore brand concealer, but I'm going to try this out two different ways. So I have a beauty blend here this is the Sephora Beauty Blender and then I have a concealer brush and I'm going to show you an example of how this concealer looks both ways so that way you can tell which tool is going to work for you and I just wanted to let you know this is the top of the concealer it comes with a pump like that all right so on the back of my hand I am going to pump that out right here all right so this is what the deep golden looks like honestly y'all it looks like I picked a really good color match all right so i'm just gonna take a little bit of it like so on my ring finger and i'm going to blend this in all right so i'm going to let's say take one two dots right here actually no three we're gonna go three dots all right so this is what it looks like here again it looks like it's going to be a really good match so i'm going to first try this with the beauty blender and see how it's going to do and if it's going to cover this side so i'm going to take my beauty blender and i'm just going to make it a little damp now that it's damp i'm just going to look at my mirror right here and blend this in all right, so what I can tell from the formula, this formula actually reminds me a lot of the MAC 24 Hour uh, Studio Fix Concealer, and y'all know that's my favorite. I love it because it looks so much like skin to me, and this is definitely giving me that. So yeah, I'm liking that they have that for the formula. Okay, this guy so far, um, I am impressed. I am impressed on the first application, on the first little blend blend, because I love the finish of this. This does look like this is gonna be very skin-like. And as far as the hyperpigmentation that was right there, I feel like it did a great job covering that, y'all, just with, you know, those three dots. So that is what this side looks with the three dots of the concealer in. And I'm just looking for hyperpigmentation breaking through. Doesn't look like it's breaking through down there. So I'm going to take some more on this bridge of the nose area. As you guys can see, there is hyperpigmentation still there. It's still a little dark. And I typically have to do this part separately anyway. So I'm just gonna take, yeah, maybe two dots like so on there and grabbing the beauty blender again and guys if you're looking for a new beauty blender this sephora beauty blender definitely giving the regular beauty blender a run um, for its money so yeah and this was like a fraction of the price so i'm going to take this again and i'm going to use this side and i'm just going to blend it into the nose bridge hyperpigmentation as best as I can. All right guys, so this is the side that was done with those little bit of layers. And if I were to just cover this side of my face, dark circles wear, honey, dark circles wear. You wouldn't even know, okay? You wouldn't even know until you see this side. So it's giving us promise. So this is what it looks like here. Now what I can say is I still do see a bit of hyperpigmentation breaking through on the bridge of the nose but guys this is without any 
This is without any color corrector. I'm actually excited, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm actually geeked about this one because it's doing something. So I'm gonna see if this can be layered up on this dark part of the nose bridge. So I've added those two little dots there just to see if this is buildable. So I'm going to just blend this quickly in again. All right, so this is with the coverage built up on the bridge of the nose. You guys comment below and please let me know what you think about how this part is looking in my mirror. I can still see the breakthrough, just a little grayness right here on the bridge of the nose, but all in all, not bad. I'm going to move on to this side of my face, which has the really bad hyperpigmentation. So doing the same technique, I am just going to grab this from the back of my hand and I'm going to dot this here. So we did about three dots. For the first application, I'm gonna do three dots there. So now that I've applied this, I'm going to grab my brush and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of water and I'm going to blend this with the brush to see if we can get a lot better coverage for the really bad part. So blending these three dots in here. Guys, this formula is so, so good. It's so, it feels so smooth and it looks so good on the skin. So I'm just taking that and using the brush to blend this in on the side. Anything that I deem to be excess, I'm just going to blend it upward and outward. All right, so the side with the brush that was done that has the really bad hyperpigmentation, just one layer. So I do feel like the brush is definitely going to give you a bit more coverage. And for this being the very bad part of the hyperpigmentation, guys, I'm getting a really nice amount of coverage and the dark circles being canceled out, especially compared to how this looked before. So I'm going to do another layer and see if this is buildable because I want to see if we can cancel everything out. As I look in the mirror, I do still see a little bit of grayness just right here, just a little bit poking through. Gonna grab the brush again and I'm just gonna concentrate it on primarily those areas of grayness that I was talking about earlier. And I do feel like it definitely is building up, especially with using the brush on the bad hyperpigmentation side. She is looking good. So now quickly I'm gonna do the bridge of the nose here. All right, y'all, so this is how this side looks. What a transformation. I'm trying not to get too hyped, but I'm actually excited because this is just a concealer. Didn't have to color correct. So now we're on to the second phase. And honestly, I feel like this is the real test. I'm going to add my setting powder on top of both sides, just lightly setting it to see if the setting powder is going to lift and make any dark circles come through. One of the main comments I get on my videos are people saying, Cami, my concealer looks great. It looks bomb when I put it on. And then as soon as I put on my setting powder, the dark circles come through. So as always, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier talc free setting powder in the color honey and I'm going to use about that much setting powder you guys know I'm not setting powder crazy and now I'm going to lightly set the areas in which I use the concealer and I'm going to gently and lightly set this area so this is what we look like with the setting powder applied to both sides and now I'm going to set my face with some setting spray I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray, and I'm just going to lightly set my face. All right, y'all, so everything is done. Everything has dried down. So I wanted to come in and give you guys an even better close-up of the under eyes once everything has been applied. So here are my final thoughts on this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So let me get into the pros of this, the pros of this concealer. Number one, it has nice coverage and it has a skin-like finish. That is important for people who just want to be able to conceal their dark circles and be on the go and not feel like they have to put on a complete full face of makeup. Definitely very skin-like. Another plus is the price point. Can we go wrong with $12? I don't think we can, that's super affordable. The $12 is definitely great. Another pro for this, it is super 
easy to blend. Like you guys saw, I had no problems blending it in with the beauty blender or the brush. Another plus is my under eyes do not look creasy and they do not look cakey at all. You can layer this up and it's not going to make your under eyes look like a disaster. All right, so now that I've done the pros, let me give you the cons, right? Because we gotta get the bad with the good and the good with the bad. One of the cons is that this only comes in 17 shades and I feel like they should be a lot more inclusive like we're living in the days of Fenty Beauty where Fenty's given us like 45 different concealer shades. Another con is the applicator. I wish again that this came with a doe fit applicator or any type of stick applicator. So all in all, would I tell you to get this concealer if you have dark circles? Unanimously, unequivocally, yes. You cannot beat the price. It has good coverage. I was able to do a full routine. Now this is not quote unquote perfect. I still can see a little bit of, you know, the breakthrough of the hyperpigmentation right here and on the bridge of the nose for me. But for $12 and for this being something that somebody who has dark circles, you know, um, that are lighter than mine or as deep as mine to just be able to grab and go, like guys, that that is really, really good. So guys, I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, clicking on that notification bell so that way you know whenever I post more videos. But as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.